Okay, so Elizabeth, right now you are being super aware of your upper body, and um, most likely this feels like a, a much shorter rowing stroke to you, like you're getting way less reach. Um, and but to me, it's correct. So this is more accurate than what you were doing before. Um, you told me the phrasing "rib cage over your body." So for you, you said that that's like a helpful uh, cue. So here we are, and I think that you're looking good with your posture. There's just a little bit of separate movement of your shoulders right before you catch and you can see it because it looks like your shoulders are kind of reaching out but that's actually fine mm -hmm. yeah yeah so now let's go ahead and take it up to full fly and if you hear me talking it's because I'm talking into the video yeah and I was just saying it looks a lot better so now we're gonna see if you can sustain it so what I'm looking for right now is that um, that um, and you're, you know, utilizing the lower stomach, you're utilizing the rib cage as you pivot forward and back. And so I'm seeing what I want to see in regards to that. Now on the drive, it's a slight bit of a different story, but right now we're just talking about the recovery and how you're swinging out of the finished position and how you're maintaining that position. So keep on rowing. I just want to get you from a um, the angle right down the boat. Is it feeling better? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's it's looking better. Just gonna move over a little. Yeah. Good call. So this is what you look like from in front. So um, probably you can if you look you can see how the left hand starts to come up and it's midway through the rowing stroke let it run 